Okay, Mike, thank you very much for that. Um, Glenn Rhodes um, is in Fort, C Fort, excuse me, Port Republic, Virginia. And Glenn, we'll hear from you now. Hi, um, I am a turkey grower in the Shenandoah Valley. I work on a family farm. We have turkeys and dairy and do some other alternative energy projects. Always been interested in turning poultry waste into energy. Uh, had the good fortune of having two systems on my farm. We have a wing combustion unit that's kind of in limbo, and we were able to transfer some research over to the LEI system. Burning poultry litter is new to the industry. Uh, there's been lots of efforts over the years, but there's really not that many turnkey units out there. So this research is really beneficial for people that are looking for, for systems. Um, Mike mentioned a few things. Some of the systems are overly complicated. Uh, if, if a sensor goes out, you're just as broken down as if something major happens. And um, another issue with these systems, fuel is not a standard product in, in the litter business. Um, a lot of companies, they want to know what your fuel is, and they want to treat it like number two Ds or propane. Um, there's a steep learning curve to operating these systems, but it is it is rewarding to, to take a waste product and turn it into energy. Um, it's also important that they pay for themselves or stand alone at some point. Uh, even if you get a system that works perfectly but it's not affordable, it's just not going to happen. Um, another thing very interesting is we're on the LEI system, we're able to produce biochar or an, uh, an ash product, so we have some flexibility there depending on what markets would develop. Now, we don't have a lot of runtime on this unit, but it, uh, it had, does have a lot of runtime burning wood chips, and it ran very well burning litter. So I, I think the reliability is there, and a lot of the heating problems have been worked out uh, over time. On these projects, the last 10% is always the hard part. Uh, you think you're just about there on something. You think you just about have your emissions down, and there's a, a point of diminishing returns on on technology, and uh, it, it's awfully easy to get overly excited early on and then realize that just to get it pushed over the top is, is the difficult thing. And our goal is to be good, clean neighbors. I live next to my farm, and so we want these units to be as clean as possible. Uh, burning wood chips, I see no visible emissions out of my system, and I'm, that's the goal is burning litter is to see no visible emissions. Um, it's it's just one of these things that I'll, I'll say again, it's, it's early in the process of, of burning litter, and uh, I'm very excited to be, to be on board with these projects, and I really, I really like to be involved. 